Iowa. Well, it has been one week since severe weather made waves through much of Iowa. Tornadoes destroyed towns, hail broke through windows, and rain flooded streets. Flash flooding conditions affected and still has affected many communities. As our Connor O'Neill shows us, this includes Marshall County. Lynn Creek in Marshall County is about 250 feet behind me that way. But when there was a lot of precipitation here, like in a lot of central Iowa last week, that creek right over here was all the way up to here where I'm standing on land now. Water rushing like this has been a normal sight in Marshall County for the past week. The county received so much rain, residents even unofficially named a huge piece of flooded land Lake Marshalltown. And it was fine. It was high. It was at bank level. Um, and within an hour where I'm standing right now, we would be underwater. Leftover footprints and mud and waterlogged tree branches were left behind at Lynn Creek after water rose nearly a foot in the span of a day. Some areas received like 11 inches of rain in 24 hours. And so those those large storms we just can't handle. Flowing through Marshall in Jasper County, a larger body of water, the Iowa River, also rose many inches due to the heavy rain the past few days. Other areas in Marshalltown became flash flooded, leading officials to close down streets. And even some of last week's storm's effects remain present. I hadn't seen it this high either, so it was a very large rainfall in a small watershed and the creeks just couldn't handle it. Storms catching many residents and county officials by surprise. Officials with Marshall County and the Iowa DNR are advising people to stay off of flooded creeks and rivers due to the dangerous high levels of water right now. In Marshall County, Connor O'Neill, Local 5 News.